Guys, what am I gonna do with Mama Bear? She just called Marty, Marty Boy a girl. That ain't right. He's a boy. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, super cool because we're headed down to Henryville for the Chasing Dreams meet and greet. Um, spring meet and greet. So, tag along as we go down there and we're gonna put up a banner and all that and just meet some like-minded awesome people. Uh, I know our friends from Steve and Carrie from Pennsylvania, they came in last night. Uh, they'll be there today. Uh, of course, Chase and Mama Dreams, they'll be there. Uh, Jack Snyder, there'll be a lot of people there. And uh, the Happy George, he's gonna be there. Uh, so yeah, come along and hang out with us and meet some amazing people. Well, I have the cutest little road companion heading down to Henryville. Little Ash is finally gonna go to his or her forever home. Um, Kendra, who bought Ember, another little bunny from us just a little while ago, fell in love with Ash as well, and Henryville is a lot closer to where they live than we are, so it's perfect time to meet up and do a little little bunny swap, so. But he's just being super calm, super sweet. I think he's just gonna chill in my lap the whole ride there. We're here at the meet and greet. Um, it's kind of later in the day. I uh, just started recording, just got the GoPro out of the car, but I'll just give you a quick show of uh, what it looks like and it's been a wonderful day. Met a lot of cool people. Uh, met a lot of people from last year that we met last year uh, that came back through this year. So I'll just show you guys around and see what we get into. Hi Dylan. <laughs> but gotta give a big shout out to Chasing Dreams Homestead for organizing all this uh, I don't remember how many uh, classes they put on today, but, but there was quite a few. And this was the t-shirt sign in. Uh, they got the seed packets. Uh, that was cool. There's Chase himself. Hey, brother! Get y'all some seeds, please. Load up, load up. Henryville Community Center. That's where this thing was done. Right there's my good friend Tad. Ah, what's up, guys? <laughs> uh, I think Happy George is up on stage, so we're gonna go check him out. Uh, this gentleman here made some awesome meat for everyone. We'll be at the front with your prize, Stacy Greenwell. Beautiful homesteader peoples. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna set up here and watch Happy George do his thing. I can. My wife's getting something about this particular log. Uh, there is, I brought some vitamin C tablets, which look like the plugs, and I didn't have the other one. But I'll go uh, over how you inoculate it real quick, just so you'll uh, know exactly how this one was done. Yeah, I'm going to. Don't rush me. <laughs> My drill's dead. So, I drill a hole. Excuse me? Yes. Yes. Got it. You're welcome. The plugs are approximately around this size, not approximately, but close. You drill a hole in your hardwood log that has been setting for a little while. You can cut them fresh and you need to use them within six weeks of the cut because the sap will run out of the log if you don't. You wanna have a nice log with plenty of sap and uh, around February is a good time to cut those and you don't want to use logs that's been laying around. You cannot use logs that's been in on the ground or dead because they like live. The mycelium feeds off of what's inside this log. So once you drill several holes, and your arm will be numb after this, 
after you do a few of these, but you take a mount. And I use soy wax. This is soy wax. You can use all kinds of candle wax, but soy seems to be best for what I use it for. It's cheaper too. You can order that on Amazon if you like to. All this information can be found online, but this is something I'm going over it kind of steadily quick, but it's it's the only way I know how. <laughs> you drill your holes about I would say a quarter inch, a little longer. And you want to peck your mycelium plugs in your holes. And then your melted wax will go over the hole. That protects your mycelium while it's doing its work. And again, you can ask questions as I go along, because I go fast, I think. Quick question. Yes. Um, do I have to cut the log off? Can I just do it right there? You can do it on a stump. Uh, I've seen it done on stump. You can do these in, in uh, all kinds of mediums, such as sawdust. I've seen people put them in books. A book it was just, you know, uh, and they keep a book wet. A mushroom will gr uh, grow out of almost anything that you can find. That's why good things for recycling. Uh, if you had a tree branch out, I mean, the only reason to cut it to that size would be handling it. Yes. And it takes it takes a little while for it to work, uh, up to six months to a year, depending on your area uh, where you put your logs. You can stack them. You can put them in pyramid style. You can put them alongside your house. They don't like too much sun because the sun dries out your logs. Uh, Twenty percent. Uh, sun, 80% shade, seems to be a good mix. Can you all hear me back here? Awesome. Um, and again, you a question once you over have your log logs fully uh, impregnated with these mycelium plugs, you can set them around, set them anywhere, and wait for the action to happen. Because people that are impatient, this might not be your game. <laughs> It takes a little patience. This particular log will last up to seven years, give or take where you're putting in your log. Uh, this one I've had for, what, two years now. Mm -hmm. And it's produced many pounds of shiitake. I also did a bunch of, of oyster, but the oysters were, uh, that just didn't seem to take on the logs that we did. And I'm not sure if it was the actual mycelium, but for some reason it didn't work. So I stick to what works and what I like, which is shiitake. Uh, and I like to go all, all the wild kinds too, as well. Do you have something to add? Speaking of eating, I made roasted lion's mane and fried lion's mane this morning. Yes. And I wasn't expecting so many people to be here. <laughs> um, so it'll be, for, if you're a family member and you don't mind sharing a bite, that would be so awesome. Please do. Um, and they're right up here and I have forks. And I don't mind if you come up here while we're while we're doing this. If you don't mind. I don't mind at all. Um, the lion's mane was found a couple weeks ago. But if you store your mushrooms in paper bags and put them in the bottom drawer of your refrigerator where they have high humidity, they will last a really long time. Yes. They just sit in there in the darkness. Uh, and, and suspend their growth because of the temperature. And um, we've been eating, we, he found a lot of lions. We have a friend who found, saw their lions made growing, and they let us come pick it if we share whatever we make with them. They only saw one clump. <laughs> I, I got another digging around, and this tree had probably been laying there for probably 10 years. It was a big old oak. And I looked under there, and there was a whole family of these slimes. We have pictures of them that you can find online. And uh, I think we have at least eight or nine in one one yes. plant. I have a little baby off of that plant, and I'm going to pass it around. I don't know if you've ever seen a lion's mane before, um, but it really does have a lion's mane. So I'll just start it looks with like you. Looks like a brain. You can and check it, it out. It actually makes you smarter when you eat these because it creates. Uh, these pathways that uh, kind of deteriorate over the years. And uh, 
For instance, I ate some this morning, or I wouldn't even be able to talk right now. <laughs> It's just been that kind of week. This one, the batter, is, has eggs and milk in it, uh, on the fried one, and then this one is yeah. olive oil, salt, and pepper. So if you have dietary restrictions, hopefully this one you can try. But again, they're delicious, and I, I suggest you try yeah. one. I'll start, because I, I see people want to come up. Yes, yeah. please do. Thank you. Thank you. Very well. Well, you'll be surprised. This is more like a seafood of the of the land, uh, like a land seafood. Um, they're better hot, of course, but they're still pretty good. Yes, Do you have reishi? Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Do y'all have any reishi today? I have it in a bottle. <laughs> yes, we do in the bottle, and uh, which is this is, this is the best way I we can find it. This is no. Oh, this is. I I go to the yeah. Sunshine yes. House. I, I know that brand. That's yeah. a pretty good brand. Yeah, I love the Sunshine House. Yeah. Oh, I don't know where that's at. It's not in Spessburg on the Square. Juanita owns it, right. and she takes good care of us. We come in there and ask her all kinds of things. Okay. Sass is already, yes, Sass is already done in the same. This is a fungi song. Please help me sing along. It's as easy as one, two, three. It's fun to sing with me. Oysters, morels, chantrails, turkey tails. Lion's mane, good for the brain. And help to kill the pain. Chicken of the woods, so good. You know it's understood. Mushrooms is my friend. I'll eat them till the end. This is a mushroom song, can you help me sing along? This is a mushroom dance, grab a friend and take your chance. Pop your cap up and down, boost him all around. Pop your cap up and down, boost him all around. Please don't eat the wrong cap. You'll take the long dirt nap. Please don't need the wrong cap. You'll take the wrong dirt nap. Oysters, morels, chantrails, turkey tails. Lion's mane, good for the brain. Even helps me kill my pain. Don't eat the wrong cap. You'll take the longer nap. Don't eat the wrong cap. You'll take the longer nap. I can't forget my favorite, you see. A nice big firm shit talky. <laughs> oh, Here's our banner that we gotta put up down here at the meet and greet. Um, so we're gonna end the meet and greet with the banner here and as we like to say on our homestead keep on keeping on friends <laughs>